plane I have in front of me here is a BD-5. And it's so crazy that I've been coming out to so many air shows year after year and I've never seen this plane before. Um, and nobody really has requested one, but honestly, like I was just coming in and I thought this was the Sonics booth because we featured a Sonics uh, jet on the channel. But this is not a Sonics. It's very similar in the build. As a matter of fact, this airframe came before Sonics from what I've been told. The initial concept or the initial uh, model for this jet uh, was back in 1972. Now there's a piston version, which is this one right here. Uh, this was the first one that came out in 1971. And then the designer later came out with this model, which uses a jet engine, you can see behind there. And again, if you see, the, this is a mini power rocket. Okay, let me let me get the camera to back up a little bit so you can see more of the full length of the airplane. You can see it's sitting very, very low to the ground. If you're familiar with the Sonics jet, this is a similar, uh, similar uh, body design. But again, this actually came before the Sonics. And speaking of that jet engine, this particular plane, look at, the, look at the size of the engine. So this is actually an older, uh, older turbine engine, and you can see because of the size also. This is a French engine. If you remember the Sonics jet that we uh, featured on the channel, it's only a small turbine engine sitting right on top here. So this is a much bigger engine. And one cool thing about this airframe and the design, so these engines heat up a lot. So you, you need a lot of air to cool it down. And you've got a nice air vent here that pops open as the engine is sucking it in. Um, and then I'm just gonna go around a little bit. Actually, before I go back here, you can also see the size of the wings. It uh, gives you an idea of what type of flying this airplane is for. You can perform aerobatics in this plane, and you've got your standard uh, stabilizers here. So your rudder is up there. Uh, some trim tabs here. Um, and again, for the size of the airplane, I don't imagine you need huge flaps or anything like that. It is a one-seater, okay? And you see the same air vent here as well. Let's go in the, let's check out the interior. What's, oh wow. He just, look, look at this. <laughs> Another air vent, it's a big old engine. So speaking of the engine, the power output on this engine is about 220 pound thrust, okay? and you're burning 50 gallons of fuel per hour of flying this thing, uh, but you're going really fast, north of 300 miles per hour. And you look in the interior here, you're practically wearing this airplane. Okay, so depend on your size. And cool thing about these designs is your legs can go all the way in. That's because your, your rudders are tucked in all the way down there. So you're practically wearing the airplane. You've got a nice side stick here. This is old school panel, so you've got your six pack. And one really cool feature about this design. Do you see that on the wing? That's your fuel gauge. So to see what amount of fuel you, you've got, you would have to stare outside of the airplane. Now, given that you're not taking this airplane or this type of aircraft on some long cross-country flight, one, you don't have enough fuel to go that far. So I imagine this is just a hobbyist plane, someone who wants to just go fast and feel the, the energy for speed. Uh, so you would know exactly how long you need to fly the airplane for. And from what I understand, about 45 minutes is what you get in flight time for this bird. Um, and so time yourself wisely. Now I see some, let's see here. So we've got some numbers in here, right? I don't know if you guys can see it. Your empty weight in this aircraft is 460 pounds. You've got 1,017 gross weight. So that's your max, I guess, takeoff weight. The uh, the whole, again, the power output, like I said, was, is 220 pound of thrust. And again, this has an older French engine in it. Now, if you were building or you wanted one of these, 
that's going to be the challenging part because you actually don't have a kit for these they're still available you can find them in the used market but there's no company building kits for these so you can either buy them finished like this and buy them used or you can find a kit that perhaps somebody abandoned and couldn't take on anymore and then you can put it together yourself so those are the only two ways that you'd be able to get a bd5 and again you have the piston model right behind me here uh, but I'm not sure well I don't know anyone who would want this if you can have this uh, basically a power rocket um, and I, I love things like this because you, you don't see these often as I said I've been coming to these air shows for years and this is the first time I'm seeing one of these babies uh, and they do fly uh, let's see what's in here so back here is pretty much the engine that takes up the whole thing. And so yeah, if you wanted one of these, you would have to buy it used or buy the kit if you can find it and then build it yourself. Now using the market, from what I was told, you're looking at 120,000, right? For one that has to be worked on. So a fully functioning plane like this may run you 150, 160. Uh, and if you built one yourself, you're probably looking about that much uh once you get your engine and from what i know the engine at least the one of the sonics i remember that engine was actually i don't remember the price but you can get these smaller uh turbine engines 60 80,000 maybe um depending on which manufacturer you go with but again these usually burn 40 to 50 gallons of fuel per hour but man, this, this thing is a sweet rod and it's for somebody who just wants to go up and go fast. Anyway, I hope you enjoy the video. If you have any questions about the BD-5, please leave in the comments below. Uh, make sure you give the video a thumbs up. And if this is your first time, be sure to subscribe to the channel with the notification bell on. I appreciate you guys spending time with me. Great way to support the channel is by becoming an MVP member. Just go to mojogrip.net forward slash MVP and you can sign up there. Until next one, I'll see you again. Peace.